Now right now, every manufacturer seems to have a product that fits a certain type of category. But I think PXG have just released a new set of irons that currently doesn't exist from anybody and could well be their best release to date. That is such a great feeling iron and super fast off the club face at the same time you see right now if you asked me and many others what would be the ideal iron well it'll be a small and compact profile it'll have forged feeling it'll be super fast off the club face i wouldn't be losing nothing compared to the sort of game improvement irons in the forgiveness stakes but that doesn't exist until now Again, it's a great high launching iron. Something we'll talk about in terms of the performance stakes very, very soon. But I've been a big fan of PXG irons from the day one. And right through from Gen 1 through to Gen 5, we've seen three types of irons and they were the uh, XP or XF. There was a player's model and there was a tour model until Gen 6 and the tour model disappeared and in my hands is the reason why. That iron I'm referring to is the new 0317T model. That's the tour model that disappeared from Gen 6. The question is, why do I think this is so special? Well, first of all, as I alluded to in the introduction, this iron is quite simply like nothing else that exists right now. And for me, it's gonna tick every single box and I believe it will for many others. But let's start off with the aesthetics of the 0317T model. What are you thinking in terms of looks? It still kind of gets that uh, PXG feel to it. We've got a big weighting system placed in the back end, which is very important. We'll talk about that a little bit later and plenty of milling off of the backside as well. Then you look at the compact profile of it. It's not overly compact, but it certainly fits into that player's category. And on the eye at address, these things look superb. That's what's so nice to have uh, feel in the shorter end of the bag so that's a wedge and you know maybe you don't need that super soft feel down the longer end in that six and five iron but certainly down the shorter end it's a great feeling to have and that's why these kind of irons tick so many of the boxes So the 0317 lineup now exists with a CB and an ST. One is a cavity back, the other is an all-out blade, but the T model is totally different to those two. And the main difference being this is another hollow body iron from PXG. Carry. So today's video comes to you in association with our travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they sent us off to Portugal, arrived in Lisbon airport and then a short drive to Dolce Campo Real. The Donald Steele Design Golf Course weaves its way through valleys, mountains and vineyards and is a true test of golf in the most tranquil of surroundings. Breathtaking views from elevated tees and fairways that wind through a landscape arriving at well-protected greens. Each shot requires your full attention. A clubhouse awaits for post-round drinks, then relax into the modern hotel rooms, bars and restaurants, refreshed and ready to do it all again. For more information on this or any other golf trip you may be planning, speak to the team at glencoregolf.com.
You see, the thing is, if you think about hollow bodied irons, first of all, from my experience, they have to be at least of a certain size and profile to make that happen. And when I think about it, the smallest, most compact hollow bodied iron is probably the P770. And that's nothing like the profile that you're seeing in these 0317s. The other interesting bit is a brand new polymer that's inserted. So it's different than that you find in Gen 6. This is called S-Core technology. And essentially what the um, inside of a hollow bodied iron does is it helps with sort of support in the face. It helps with sound and feel and it helps with explosiveness in terms of ball speeds off the face and forgiveness. So for me, we've seen it introduced into every manufacturer's iron lineup and they've done it for a reason. It's super successful in terms of performance. So to get it in this type of player's iron takes the 0317T into a whole different new category. Oh, my word. Do you know what? Oh, what a big kick that is. I'm in love with these irons because, like I said, they're super soft feeling and they've got forgiveness. I'm just repeating what I've said already, I know, but it's such a surprise to find an iron been released this way. I don't even know whether PXG realise themselves just what they've uh, put on the market right now because, like I said, this is what a lot of players are looking for, that small compact profile. I've looked at the top line now. So whether you're looking at a wedge, you're looking at a six iron. For me, I'm looking down on a, on a top line that is enough confidence inspiring, so it's not too small. I'm not looking at an all out blade here, but I'm looking at a real sort of traditional style, the shaping, the way this sits at rest, width of sole, all those kind of things are everything that I'm always looking for and always fearful of playing because I don't get that forgiveness and ball speed elements in there. Now, interesting enough, PXG is still gonna pitch this very much at the player's category, it is their tour model, but I would suggest that you really do not get put off by that category and give these a go. If your ball striking is half decent with irons, then I think these are probably more playable than even PXG are gonna suggest. Do you know what? At the black and white marker, I think we'll finish things there because uh, not a great deal more to be said about these irons except one more thing and that is the opportunity and feasibility of blending the set. Now there's a real option to go into 317 STs at the very short end of the bag and then into these and visually they will be seamless, there's no difference whatsoever. My argument about that right now is in this sort of category of club, I'm not even sure that you would choose to do that because of the profile of the T. I think even the better players that really wants that blade like look might still be swayed to go towards this T model as opposed to the ST. So even blending, it's a great option and there's, you know, you could put the CBs in there as well, but for me, this is just the standout product within that category. But like I said, maybe for that pure ball striker, low handicap player, maybe still be driven towards those STs. All out, just so, so good. A little bit shocked and a little bit surprised. I've just said off camera, I really love these irons. I was surprised that they are hollow bodied. I'd have never guessed this when I looked at them. That S-Core technology that they've put into these things, it has an impact, there's no doubt about it. And the one added thing I will say, I talk about sound and feel. I think PXE have always done that really well in terms of hollow bodied irons that don't sound clicky. Well, this is another level. These would, if I hadn't been told, I would have just guessed this was a forged iron. It was an all out blade. So yeah, that's how good these are. I won't waffle on no more. I'm always positive towards PXG in most instances, particularly towards the iron. So as ever, this is just my subjective opinion you go out there, try these for yourself, but like I said, very surprised. A, in my opinion, a brand new product that doesn't exist on the market right now from PXG. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.